the haul. So I'm going to show you all of the things that I've bought so far. This isn't necessarily everything I'm going to have, but what I've got so far for the party. So the first store I went to was, what's it called? Peter Van the Party Man. And I actually spent like $53 there. So I think it's pretty good for the amount of stuff I got, but um, still. It's a lot of money just on, you know, paper decorations. So these are like my favorite. So these are big um, hanging pinwheel things and they're in white and gold. Sorry about the intense glare. There we go. So there's four different sizes. There's a big one, a medium, two medium ones, and then one little one. And they're like metallic. And up here you can see them. So they come in like a little fan and you just have to like open it up. So these are gorgeous. That was $18 for four of them, which I originally thought was quite cheap, was quite expensive. But then when I realized how much, because I paid $3.50 each for my other decorations. So it sort of worked out to be you know, similar costs anyway, and these ones are gorgeous because I've got the metallic finish. Um, so the other ones I got are these poofs. Um, so yeah, the giant, like, paper poofs that you see sort of everywhere. I got them in pale pink and pale blue. Um, these are the 16 inch or 40 centimeter size. Again, they come in, like, a stick at the back and you just have to fluff it all out. And they were $3.50. I got two in each color in the big size. And then got, um, again, this was $3.50. I got two in the blue of this big pinwheel thing. But they didn't have, I guess they didn't have it in the pink. Or maybe I just didn't want it in the pink. But because blue is the main color I was doing for my decorations. So I got two in the blue. And then in the little size, I got two, three packs of these. So I got them in the pink and the white, and this was $3.50 for three of them. So you get three at the back there, and these are, is that five centimeters? No, 15 centimeters. So they're significantly smaller, which is a good thing. I wanted to have a bit of variety. I might go back and see if I can get them in the blue, and I was originally going to get big ones in the white as well. But um, it turns out I haven't actually got a ton of other white decorations except for these and then the white in with the gold, so I might not. Again, I'm going to try and puff these up on, like, start doing it on the Thursday, so that way I can sort of um, roughly set them up and see what it looks like with what I've got, so that if I need to, Friday, I can rush out and get more, because they sell them all over the place. You can get them at Peter Van. Any of the big party stores had them, as well as, like, Kmart had them. Um, I think Big W had a few even. So you can get them all over the place. But um, they pretty much turned out to be the same price everywhere I went. And when I was at Peter Van, I was just checking to see their range. And they had um, these in the pale blue. Because at the other stores I'd been to, I could only find this big pinwheel in the blue colour. Which was really annoying because I wanted to have... Like, I wanted everything in that. But they'd only ordered the pinwheel, not the proofs. So, yes, that's why I just got them... Then and there, even though I was planning on just having a browse. So that was the first store I went to. Um, and as well as that, I also got these little rose gold hearts. You got 24 and they were like $7, which is super overpriced. But I loved the colour. These were in the wedding section, so that's sort of why they were overpriced. But I don't even know if I'm going to use this for my, for my party. But um, thinking about it, I'll probably use them more for scrapbooking. But I am going to do like a scrapbook for my photo, like for my like signature book of the party, what I want to do is I want to have pieces of paper, like square scrapbook paper, as well as like smaller squares of like colored scrapbook paper I want to have on a table with some markers and people can write their little messages on that. And then as I, and then I'll put it all together myself afterwards when I get the photos from the day, from the night um, printed. Hopefully I can find a new photographer though to take them all, but that's another story. So I'm going to print the photos, put them on one half, and then on the other half, like try to match up the pictures with the people who signed on that page. So that's going to be a fun project for me afterwards so that I can flick back through and have all the memories from the night. So I think that will be really fun. So I'll probably use these for that. So yeah, that all came to $53 or $52.90 if you want to be specific. Um, but yeah, and the next store I actually went to was Ned's because I wanted to get, like, look around at, like, Cheapest Chips and all of, like, those sorts of places to see what I could get super cheap. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly show you on Pinterest because there's, it'll make sense when I'm showing you why I got all of this stuff. Um, so yeah, one of the first things I did was actually make a Pinterest board of my birthday. So I'll actually show you like right from the bottom what I started pinning. So I'm probably going to like put this on the screen better. But so I've got the bunting, which you can make out of, um, what's it called? Tissue paper. So that's what, so I've got, got a whole bunch of tissue paper to do that. I've got these sort of dangly things, um, more buntings, balloons. And at first it was a lot of decorations, and then I got more into, like, what food I was going to have, like, vegan party foods. And then I started getting more into um, the outfit, so what dress. Um, so these are sort of the ones that I printed out for when I was deciding on um, what dress I wanted to make. There's the one I went with. Oh yeah, this one here is the look I went for in the end. Obviously it doesn't look exactly the same, but that was my inspiration. So yeah, just wanted to show you my Pinterest to, by the way, follow me on Pinterest. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's just Pink Wednesdays 95, or it might just be Pink Wednesdays 9, because I'm not sure if I could get 95. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, the next place I went to was Ned's, and I got these, um, is that the right way? Tissue papers. Well, the gold one, the shiny one at the end, is actually cellophane. So I got pale blue, a darker blue, white, pale pink, and then the gold cellophane. And these were, so what do you get? You get eight sheets, and they were like $2, I think. Or maybe it was even $1. I'll just check the receipt. Okay, so from checking the receipt, it turned out these were only $1 each, which is way cheaper than when I got them at Spotlight, which we'll see in a minute. So eight sheets for $1. These are just in super plain colors. And it didn't have a gold I liked in the tissue paper, so I actually went with the cellophane. But this is only two sheets, but again, it was $1. So that's going to be shiny and just add a bit of extra. Um, and yeah, whereas at Spotlight later on, I got these. So I got three sheets of this polka dot one, pale blue with polka dots. Um, five of this pink, which is a bit of like a mid-range pink. And then, what's this? three sheets of this gold tissue paper which is not quite as shiny as the cellophane so that's the cellophane and that's the tissue paper so it does make a difference but these were like something ridiculous like five dollars each or something but again I'll show you this in a minute so I got these from Ned's I also got some tea light candles so I got a pack of 50 that are four hour burn time just unscented tea light candles and then I got a pack of 10 that were nine hour burners so I think cause I'm gonna have like clusters of jars that are with the gold glitter so I want to put like one of the like long burn time in each jar because I think my party's gonna go for slightly over four hours so I don't want like these to all go out which is why I went with the a few nine hour ones to put with each cluster so there was still like a nice little like illumination glow so for the 50 pack it was $6 and for the 10 pack it was $2.50. So again, super cheap. Um, they did have some cheap ones at Spotlight too, but I already got these at Ned's. So I then got some crystals. So I got this pack of clear ones. Um, it doesn't tell you how many is in the bag, but there's quite a lot. This was $5, so I've got like some super big diamonds like this one here. And then lots of little ones down the bottom. I also got them in, well these are different, but little rock bags of rocks in the blue and in the soft gold colour. And these were $4.50 each. I do actually have some in white and a few blue ones as well as a few like little pink pebbles. So already, so that's why I just got a few extras. So that was Ned's and at Ned's I spent a total of $29.50. But I did spend $5 on a book that I didn't show you. Because I spent, yeah, I bought like a Kim Kardashian book for like 5 bucks. So, you know, why not? Um, so the next place I went was Spotlight. So again, I got these three tissue papers. And they were, okay, so it was $2.50 for the three sheets of gold. And $2.50 for the three sheets of the polka dot one. And then... Yeah, $2.50. So they were each $2.50. 
which is like one and a half times the price of the other ones already plus you got less sheets so you got only three sheets of this you got five sheets of this and only three sheets of this one whereas the other ones were one dollar for eight sheets so definitely swing past Ned's if you're looking for tissue paper because so much cheaper um, I also got mod mod podge because I see it all the time on YouTube videos from people in like America but we didn't have it here but they just like must have got some in recently because I know last year we didn't sell mod mod podge so yeah I'm not sure I don't think I'm gonna use this for the glitter jars I'll probably just use regular glue but yes this I got a big thing of this um, I also got a giant jar of glitter I thought I was gonna be able to find some of this at like cheapest chips or somewhere but I couldn't so I ended up just going for um, the spotlight one which I think was like $13 so it wasn't that cheap but I mean I needed glitter and this is the best like you could buy them super cheap but they were you had to get like five different colors and they were tiny little tins so it wasn't worth it so I had to just get that I then also got some confetti which I plan to put inside balloons because I got, like I've seen this thing again on Pinterest um, they're like clear balloons and you put confetti in them and then they like stick to the outside and it looks really cool but I think I'm going to actually just use some of the leftover tissue paper because that apparently, you punch holes with it and it sticks to the outside of the balloons better but I'll show you that when I make the balloons um, so I might just use this to like scatter over the tables or something or maybe I'll just save it for later on and again like there's blue and purple that I would probably be super pedantic about and go and pick them out um maybe not blue yeah green and purple that don't match my theme the blue the silver and like the pale pink color will be fine but the green is just like gonna bug me um so yeah at spotlight I spent $44 so yeah it's like over $100 already on decorations and then just today I went and sorted out all of the balloons. So I did that at um, on Brighton Road. It's called the Party Superstore. So I went and did that today. I walked in. They have so many different colors of balloons. And I was like going to pick out all my specific colors. And I was really excited about that. But it turns out with the pack, with the bundle that I wanted, it came with like a pack of balloons rather than picking out your individual ones. So I didn't get that much choice with the colors. Like I couldn't pick an exact blue I wanted. There was only like two options instead of like 20, which I was a little bit bummed about. But I mean, the colors turned out to be pretty much the same anyway, so I'm not too mad. But um, yeah, so we're going to do it ourselves. We're going to blow them up ourselves. So I've hired, I've booked to hire a helium cylinder and then I got three packs of balloons. It We only got a 40 pack, which I thought they did a 50 pack, but they don't. It's only 40 or 100 and I thought 100 would be too many. So I got um, hot pink, blue, and then gold, as well as a few clear ones. Um, yeah, so it's 25 in each bag, so I had to buy one bag separately because the bundle only comes with two bags. And then I got like eight of these um, loose clear balloons. So I got these from the, like, the balloon wall they have, that's all the individual ones, which you can pick from if you want to get them blown up at the place but because I wanted these clear ones to be filled with the confetti I sort of have to do that myself so that's why we ended up kind of so I'm really hoping the colors turn out okay um because they look kind of like not that flash in the packet like that's super dark but I'm um, thinking that like when you blow them up it'll lighten a lot so it'll be more in between but whatever we'll see so yeah clear balloons I got like eight of these and then I've got 25 of each color so I'm gonna have tons left over but that's okay because blue and pink and gold so like they're fairly standard colors that I'm sure we're gonna use again in the future um, the bundle also came with matching ribbon so I've got pale blue pale pink and this pale gold color and then for the clear ones I'm probably gonna do them in the gold ribbon but yeah so that is what I got from the party superstore and that actually came to like 80 bucks or something yeah, $89.45. So the bundle is $69, but then to get a pack of eight of to get eight of these it cost me four dollars because they're fifty cents each. Um to get the separate um to get like an additional pack of balloons because I wanted three colours, not just two, it was four dollars ninety-five, so five dollars 
and oh no, that must have been yeah, it was four dollars ninety five for the extra um, string, and then eight dollars for the extra packet of balloons. So yeah. Which other thing I wanted to show you was from my friend at her party. She had these giant cutouts of twenty one. And I mean the party is over now so she obviously doesn't need them anymore. So, and they were wrapped in fairy lights. So this is the cutout. So it's just a big two and a one. But she was, her theme was blue and silver. So I think I might actually like take off all these little blue um, sequins and like paint it gold instead but it does seem like such a waste because she went to all the trouble and I'll have to restring the little fairy lights um, but I will figure that out another time so yeah this is one last bit of decorations that I have acquired I didn't have to purchase or anything they it was just you know a leftover um, but yeah that is one other thing I'm having at my party